Hello, hello, family. Hey, y'all. Hey, y'all. Welcome back to another video, okay? The T on MPD and relationships. Y'all know how we do it, fam. If you've been watching this channel for some time and you like the content, go on and hit that subscribe button. Hit that follow button and come follow me as we discover our destinies. To my new subscribers and new follower, hey, followers, hey, y'all. Hey, family. Welcome. Welcome, okay? We're so happy to have you. To my tribe and family at large, Welcome back. Thank you all for visiting my media resource and finding value in something that I have to say. I appreciate your time, family. And listen, if you like the content that I am bringing to you, why don't we let the YouTube community know? We do that by simply hitting that like button. It gives our tribe and our family right here the greatest opportunity to grow. So, of course, you know, I always mention our Thursday night live streams, y'all. Come on out. Listen, good energy, information, conversation. We go live one once a week on the channel and that's on thursday nights at 5 p.m pacific standard time that is uh 6 p.m mountain standard time 7 p.m central standard time and 8 p.m eastern standard time lots of good information revelation conversation inspiration come on i mean encouragement is jumping off i mean eclectic energy we just have a great time and i believe it'll bless your soul so come on out and invite a friend we talk about furthering our healing process okay and a lot of the things i'm covering is stuff that i really don't get to in the videos okay so gotta mention the comedy event event okay first event on event bright come on family listen we trying to move up a little bit we trying to do some things we trying to make some moves in this community that are unprecedented okay in the healing process laughter is a big part of that it is a huge piece of it because it gauges your healing amen when you can laugh about something and you know i just one thing i love about god is that god has a sense of humor too you understand what i'm saying our father has a sense of humor too and he wants us and i put in proverbs 17 and 22 talks about a merry heart come on it's good for the it, it, it's good for the soul all right so i want y'all to please support the event and come on out to the comedy uh to the holiday comedy roast we gonna be roast we ain't gonna be roasting no no uh turkeys we gonna be well we gonna be roasting some narc turkeys how about that listen y'all don't want to miss it it's gonna be listen i'm gonna we gonna be in rare form that night we are going to be in rare form it is the holidays i don't want y'all sad and uh upset about these birds out here these chinese cresteds it's a nominal fee of ten dollars come on out i'm gonna be giving away some coaching sessions um in that live stream, some full one hour coaching session. So I want y'all to be encouraged and I want y'all to just, just, I, I want you to be, to understand that, listen, we are a family. We're here to do this thing and we are here to heal. And that's exactly what we are going to do. And I try to be a balanced channel, give you some spiritual, good spiritual voltage, give you some laughter and give you some real good soul food. Okay. Amen. Amen. So the link is in the community tab. The uh, holiday comedy roast. Listen, we're going to have a good time. Come share your stories, okay? All right, so let's jump into the topic of this video. So we're talking about, you know, at, don't put this past a desperate narcissist that has lost control over you, okay? This is another type of uh, Hoover. This dropped in my spirit on last night. And uh, I said, you know what? I really do need to talk about that because we are right here at this holiday season and these Chinese cresteds are ramping up. You know, I already told y'all yesterday, it's cuffing season, okay? It's cuffing season and these narcs are not playing, okay? They are trying to get hooked up, tied up, tangled up with you, okay? That's what they're trying to do. So this is what you need to, we, we got to understand something. When a narcissist has lost control over you, they become desperate, y'all. They become desperate. And especially if they uh, don't have a suitable uh, new supply or that back burner supply is not cutting it. I told you all before, it's, uh, sometimes the family members will see them go through um, destabilization. You know what I'm saying? Where they they just, I mean, they lose it. They, they lose their, their stuff. They really do. They lose it. So when you talk about a, a narcissist that has lost control over you, 
they will stop at nothing to try to get that control back. Even if they do have uh, other supplies, the fact that they lost you still doesn't sit well with them. Because see, I heard one of our uh, family members say, listen, it ain't no fun if you ain't got nobody to cheat on, okay? Y'all better look. Look at one of our, I forget which family member there was, but they put, it, put that in the comment section, okay? And I was like, that thing was on point. Okay, it ain't no fun if you ain't got nobody to cheat on. So you being a part of the fuel matrix, the narcissist, once they lose control over you, they come in the hoover just like this. And y'all probably haven't, y'all may have experienced this. I'm sure a lot of you probably gonna testify in the comment section, that happened to me. Okay, these birds, now this is how low, low down and dirty they are. Okay, these loaded, low down, dirty birds, this is what they'll do. Now, they will call. Now, it could have been something y'all could have had a few a mutual friend. It could have been a family member that you really didn't like, a family member that you really didn't talk to, or whatever. But guess what? This is how they they try to hoover you. They will call you, or they will text you, or send a word through a flying monkey, or somebody that once you blocked them, they will try to get some type of connection with you to tell you about the demise of somebody else, okay? Either the person either passed away or, you know, the person might be in the hospital and it might not even be somebody that y'all, you know, you you really, maybe it could have been even a celebrity in Hollywood that y'all liked, you know, that you may not know about all those stuff like that hit the news pretty quick. But, you know, it it doesn't matter anything, they will go this low to tell you about somebody passing away or whatever. They'll call you and tell you they were sick, you know, or try to get a message to you that they were sick and they, they're on their, uh, they are dying. And, you know, I mean, this is how low down they are. I'm telling you, you dealing with some bears with some missing paws and, and not, and, and, a, and half a brain. Okay. These silverbacks, listen, they will sit up there and literally try to have a conversation with you. They will hoover you through somebody's death, somebody's demise, and even, and they'll sit up and lie about their own health, okay? They really will. They'll sit up there and lie about their own health. Listen, they will, they will, uh, y'all could have had, you, it could have been a tree right outside the window. This is how crazy, crazy they are. Could have been a tree right outside the window. Maybe it was a little family of birds or it was a little, a robin in there. That robin always sat in that tree. Maybe the robin went to another tree. Or I don't know, something happened, they cut the tree down. They'll call you and tell you about that or try to text you and tell you, like, I don't even care about that bird. You a bird just like that one in the tree. I get, but I have more respect for that one. <laughs> you know, these, the, I'm telling y'all, they will hoover you through just sad news about people's death, about people being sick. They will lie about their own health, trying to get you to just have a conversation with them. They will tell, I mean, they, they get desperate, y'all. They get desperate. They want you to be back in their control and they become obsessed when they cannot have conversation with you, when they cannot control you. That is a problem. They will not go, they will, they, listen, there's no bottom with these creatures. I'm telling you, there is no bottom. When you dealing with a whole bird, a Chinese crested and a zebra with leopard uh, spots, you are, you got yourself a problem on your hands. You got yourself a problem. I'm telling you, these people, family, y'all gotta listen. This, y'all can't let this happen to you. Don't be fooled. Don't fall into that trap. Because if you go back and have a conversation with them, especially when they hoover you this way, they are when they do stuff like this, and if it was a person in their family, or if they're saying that it was their health that was bad, or whatever, this one right here is a direct attack to get that, to draw immediate empathy and sympathy from you. And this one right here is meant to get you right back in the bed. Do you understand me? This one is a direct attack on your emotions. Hello, a direct attack on your, listen to me, family. Y'all, please hit that like button. 
hit that like button because some of y'all gonna get some hoovers like this this holiday season okay please y'all hit the like button listen this is a direct attack on your emotion this is to to uh, draw immediate empathy and sympathy out of you next thing you know that bird gonna be trying to meet you for coffee and the coffee ain't gonna be at no starbucks or nowhere either they gonna be making a gourmet cup at their house or wherever they trying to be <laughs> i'm telling you this is what they want to do you cannot give in to this family you gotta you gotta see past it you gotta understand it's just another trap it's just another ploy if somebody passed away and you know we will be sorry for that and you know prayers going up but you don't have to necessarily tell them that you don't have to tell, tell them that you don't even have to say nothing to the flying monkey if you know where the family lives or whatever if you want us if you or, or if you know their uh their church location or whatever if you want to send a card you could do that but i wouldn't even i mean it's up to you but that wouldn't be recommended because unless you know or you hold some type of position you know of clergy or whatever and you know you can you can exercise that or you want to exercise that because of your position but if not honey you better let them you better let them giraffes honey them bats with with uh with cleats on you better let them stay right on over there don't don't fall for it because once you get back over there they gonna they are gonna absolutely do the same thing that they've been doing and see this one right here is specifically like i told you is specifically designed to to get that immediate empathy and sympathy out of you and get you in that bed see the the hoover that i talked about yesterday that's not gonna necessarily get you back in the bed not that quickly they're gonna have to work they're gonna have to work a little bit on that but see this one right here this one right here is to immediately immediately draw that empathy and sympathy and then next thing you know well why don't we meet you know well i just thought you know i you know i i never thought i i have another conversation with you and and thank you for calling you know and and, and expressing your your uh concern or your condolences you know well uh, how you doing don't worry about how i'm doing this is what they will do and it's all just to get you in another, get you on another cycle with them. Family, don't fall for it, okay? Don't fall for it. They will hoover you in about somebody's death, somebody's demise. They will hoover you with even lies about it, okay? It might not have even happened, but they'll lie because they're desperate. And you know they, you know that's all they do. Every time they open up their mouth, they lying. Every time they, I'm telling you, you want to know when a narcissist is lying, just look and see if they, if they talking. If they're talking, they wake up with lies. They go to bed with lies. They go to lunch with lies. They go to dinner with lies. You know, that's, that's just what they do. They eat lies all day. All day. They have a healthy diet of lies. <laughs> Sorry, y'all. They do. They got a healthy diet of lies. <laughs> lies and deception, y'all. Okay, family. So listen, this is what they do. So I love you, family. Y'all be good to yourselves. Y'all be safe out there. And I will see you all on the next video. And I will see you all at the top. God bless you and keep you and make his face to shine upon you. Shalom, family. Peace.